very hard on Dan. It went hard on Dan. Yeah. <laughs> she was a trooper, though. She, I looked at her and said, "You want to do this?" And she's like, "I'm going." I'm like, All right, let's do it. Whenever you're ready, Becky. Okay. I'll look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Seabrook picture or a uh, Roosevelt Beach or something? Yeah, I'll see right here. Yeah. All right. It is. Guess perfect. where it is. <laughs> you guys should know. I got it off your webcam. <laughs> Claylock. I was going to say it's a much sunnier version of what we see on the news when they put Claylock out. <laughs> okay. So it is work of team. We'll go ahead and get started. Thanks everyone for coming today. Um, I've got, what did I say, one, two, three, four, five updates to give and uh, just ask questions if you've got them as we're going through, Richard. Uh, gas pumps in the collections yard, RFQ evaluation. So the gas pumps in the collections yard, um, we did the evaluation and we are scheduling a site visit for, I believe, the second, it is the second week of January with Barghausen engineering uh, to come out and do a site visit with us and we're going to walk the fueling station and discuss what needs to be done out there so that they can write a proposal for us to get them upgraded. It needs to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just think how much fun it would be if 500 gallons of gasoline were spewed all over the parking lot. The the gas tanks aren't aren't in danger of failing, but I'm told. Mm -hmm. But I also want the expert to look at that. Yeah. So um, Shiloh approach sidewalk. I have a bid ready to send to Jenny. I sent it to Roy. He said, yes, it looks good. I sent it to Roy for the ADA piece, uh, just so I have a second set of eyes on it. So we're going to be connecting the Shiloh approach sidewalk to the um, hiking trail there and what I learned was that Ocean Shores used to have parking spaces on basically along that side walk so the streets to put in diagonal so the streets department is going to restripe those parking spaces we'll put them back in and we're going to do ADA spaces in front of the new sidewalk area so that they'll be closest to the trail and streets department will be able to do the thermoplastic uh, you know, like hatches the stripes for the ADA and they'll be able to do the ADA painting as well. I verify that with Sean. So we'll get that all going and there will be also the uh, ADA ramp on the curb to be able to get up onto the sidewalk to get to the trail. So that's going to be a nice addition improvement there. And also some money you just had a few. I've had some conversations about a pocket park for that whole area. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I'll, you know, it's, it's a conversation I'm having with the group, the, the Freedom Group that's coming in for 4th of July. They want to put the memorial bench there. Oh, they, do they like yeah. the, that spot? They like that's that spot. the spot. They want okay. to put it right there. So they were happy with that. And that's also awesome. what we're talking about in the razor clam yeah. uh, there as well. So I think if we could turn that into a beautiful bench, it could be amazing. It'd be yeah, it'd be a really great. Welcome to the city. It's the official beach approach yeah. to the city. This is where the dune trail starts. This is where we have our parking access, and then we have this kind of beautiful pocket parking trail. So, it's going to be so you, you said you have a bid ready to send. Does that mean you have an estimate of what this sidewalk piece is going to cost? I don't know what it's going to cost. It's it's forty six feet long and eight feet seven feet wide. Seven feet wide and 40, 46 feet. feet. Long. Inches and I know I have pictures of the wheelie and I was looking at it doing the math to so we will ex the contractor will excavate down and I don't know it's they have to do base rock and then a top rock and then the the asphalt but it's it's not very much so, so that reminds me of, of on the berm uh at the water tank Early in one of your mayor's reports, they were going to put a layer of big rock down. They were going to dig a trench. Did that happen? Is it, was that they, we we didn't do the rock. We didn't do the wave okay. dissipator. Marshall and Mott McDonald said that we wouldn't do that at this time. Okay, I, I was just curious. I, yeah, I, I read through that and said, oh, because there's so much noise going on about how useless that is. No, it, it's designed to uh, uh, wash away, but it's also designed yeah. to prevent incursions. 
of salt water. So I mean, I think we realize what needs to be done is we need to work with the core to get money to yeah. do the work jetty. jetty, but that's going to be a long process. That's not going to be something overnight. So we're not just going to sit and let city infrastructure be exposed for the next year uh, until we get that done. Uh, the reason is, is, I mean, we've received the 10.9 million for the North Jetty, mm -hmm. um, and this is exactly what we did. The core did, yeah, yeah. The core did. But I mean, it, it was. Derek Kilmer put it in because he knew the ocean shore for, for the core. So the core are. doesn't think it's really their jurisdiction or their responsibility to do the remnant jetty because it's not used for navigational purposes. So this is one of the reasons that that is why. So it's not a navigation thing. So they don't think they have responsibility for it. Or it's not of interest to them or the core. Um, and it's one of the reasons that Mayor Elwin wants to get a lobbyist to push that issue because that's the only way we're going to be able to do it. Right. We're going to have to lobby at the federal level and we're going to have to lobby our state representatives to get some type of money to rebuild that revenue jetty because that is the only long-term solution. Right. Okay. Capital facilities plan update. We met with Harbor Architects last week to talk, or was that this week? It was this week <laughs> to, to talk about public outreach. Yes, yes, that's right. Well, it's funny together. Monday talk about public outreach that we're going to be doing um, before the final capital facilities plan comes out. We're going to get feedback from the public about uh, what's important as, as far as the buildings in the city, different questions. There's going to potentially be a survey, definitely going to have it at our first town hall on January 10th. It's at 6 p.m. Come to that, everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll talk about some of that there as well. And that will, what we learn from the public in, in that potential survey, but definitely the town hall, I think we're going to do a survey too um, on the website, will be part of the capital facilities plan report, which will be cool. There will be a section that says the, the citizens of Ocean Shores, it is, these are the things important to the citizens of Ocean Shores. So that'll be great to have in our capital facilities yeah. plan. And we're meeting with Amoresco next Wednesday yeah. with the mayor and a couple other members of city staff to go over the initial findings for the report as well. Are they going to have the number of the dollar figures in that initial findings? Do you know? I don't know that. Okay. Because we're all concerned about that. We know it's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. It's a multi long year laid out plan as well. So people don't realize how many properties the city actually owns. Um, you know, they think about the logical ones, the library, police, fire, and that. But when you start talking about the Coastal Interpretive Center, you start talking about the Lions Club, start talking about the radio, you know, buildings, and, and then, of course, everything that people don't see at Public Works, it's, it's going to be expensive. I think there's 56 to 60 mm -hmm. on the list, and, you know, it includes things like the, the sheds at the parks and the right. structures at the parks as well, so everything is... Bathrooms and the bathrooms, yep. Um, bridge inspections. The bridge inspection reports are complete. I got those this week and I will be going over those with Sean Pease from the street department and Scott and the mayor hopefully next week so that we can go through those before the holidays and then present the findings mm -hmm. at the maybe second council meeting in January. But good news is I can report that there are no emergency repairs that need to be done on the bridge. No, on the timber bridges. On the timber, Actually, yeah, timber yeah. bridges. No, no immediate or necessary repairs on the timber bridges. And the county does the concrete bridges every other year. We do the timber bridges every other year. So we are expecting that the county is going to do the concrete bridges next year. And I will still be reaching out to them in the new year to discuss who with the county and when that gets done. And how we get those reports sent to us so that I get them. They have my contact. The general engineer RFQ request for qualification evaluations, those were turned in and we have three of them that the mayor, myself and Scott are in the process of evaluating separately. And then the three of us will get together and discuss how we feel about the three candidates. And then we, will potentially interview all three, one or two, depending on how we feel their qualifications are. They came in from Grain Osborne, who has been a general engineer for the city this year, does a lot of work for us. Um, S SJC or SCJ, SCJ, I always say it backwards, Alliance. And they worked with the city on the Point Brown Crosswalk, and they've done work for this other work for the city in the past before I came. 
to the city. So they are familiar with us as well. So we got one from them. And then the third one, do you remember? I don't remember who the third one was. I can't remember uh, right now. I know. I've got a simple one. I, got my I know, it's on my desk too. Mm -hmm. And we have a third one. <laughs> so the whole point of this then is they, whoever's awarded this contract will be doing things that otherwise Nick Bird or, or uh, Robert, Lund. Robert, Robert Lund had been overseeing. So these guys are the, to oversee working the, projects. The things that they did that I can't do and or you. somebody else in the city can't do, but they won't be doing large, pro like if it's a project where it would be, you know, I, I wouldn't have them do the hiding trail project because that would have to go out to bid for an engineer to do that work because it's such a large project. So we still have to stick to the bidding rules for an engineer architect service um, for the engineer. Uh, it's really so that I can pick up the phone and say, I'm concerned that the police evidence building may have a framing issue because we've got water that's been coming in and there's grass growing on the floor. Can you, can you can, if we open the wall, can you take a look at the mm -hmm. framing? That's an example of what I use Grain House for, for this year. Right. So things like that. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. I was just talking this morning about how much progress the city has made with you in that position. Thank you. There, there's a, the appearance of project, and that's not to take anything away from 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 uh, Nick or yeah. or or, or Lund, uh, but you are constantly giving us all updates, um, and that's what we all need um, to have more confidence that you know the right stuff is getting done. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Those are all my updates. Okay. You're the only person. <laughs> you have questions? You have any last kind of questions? How much is rice in China? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that many questions. All right. Well, thank you. I guess we can conclude this meeting. Thank you for saying. Everybody. <laughs> bye. Thank you for coming. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Take care.